What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be making a rotisserie chicken in a crock pot. So what you need is a crock pot. This here is a four quart crock pot. It's just big enough for our chicken, but this thing has worked wonders. We're really happy to have this. This was a gift actually for our wedding. Inside the crock pot we have slow cooker liners, completely optional. It's better for easy cleanup. You just pull the bag out, throw it away, rinse off the insert, the ceramic insert, and then you're, you're pretty much done. No scraping or scrubbing the, the ceramic. And then we'll, we chose to do lemon pepper. Um, any lemon pepper will do. This one's from McCormick. And we're going to rub this on our chicken when it's all prepared. So here we have our chicken. It's a whole chicken. And we bought this from our local grocery store. The only thing I've done is remove the giblets here. This is like the liver, the heart, and um, other internal parts that we're not going to be using today along with its neck. And so we check, for, check the inside, make sure there's nothing else in there. Not, sometimes there's two bags of these in there. And uh, just inspect for feathers, pluck off any feathers that you see that wasn't able to get, they weren't able to get in the, the process. This is like a uh, tendon or something from the feather. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to rinse this guy off in the sink with cool running water and then I will bring it back and then we're going to pat dry it with paper towel. Alright so our bird is nice and washed. We washed off the inner cavity that had some blood in it so we don't really like the flavor of that. Not, I mean if, you can rinse it if you want but we prefer to rinse it. Here's some paper towel, just kitchen paper towel. We're going to pat this guy dry. The reason for patting dry is so that our seasoning can stick on and then once we put it in the crock pot the uh, seasoning will brown up nice and nice and brown it'll give us a nice bark on the outside of our chicken so here we will pat dry just the parts you can get turn your towel around you really want to make sure all those flavors stick on there. And uh, make sure you're actually patting. Try not to scrub because then the paper is going to break and you're going to have pieces of paper all around your, your chicken. So just as the name implies, give it a nice pat until it's dry. So here's the side of the bird. Other side. On the back. Granted, it's a little moist on the bottom of the back here, but we'll try our best to get it nice and dry. All right, she is patted dry. I'm going to rinse my hands off, and then we will be putting on the seasoning and then sticking her in the crock pot. Stick with us. All right, so now that we've patted dry, we've washed our hands. I slipped some gloves on for the sake of this video. Uh, we're going to cut it, cut it short, uh, but here we go. Just generously season your bird. Again, this, we're using lemon pepper from McCormick. Uh, at this point, you can put anything you want, wherever you want. We're going to try to get everything. It's sticking on nice and well because it is dry. Um, I know some of you are saying, why, if it's dry, why is it sticking? The skin remains nice and wet. Um, and it, and it accepts the seasoning very well. So, get all parts of the bird here. Get its bottom side, its back. You could put your own seasoning. I've seen a barbecue, a moho. Really, the sky's the limit. Whatever you feel your family would eat. Go ahead and do it. And just some inside the cavity. It'll steam off in there and some flavor will give off in, in, inside of the meat. You can also inject this if you'd like. We're keeping it nice and simple. Alright, this part is completely optional. We uh, have it We have it seasoned. Now we're going to do a process called trussing. So it's just so that it cooks a little more fancy. It'll cook the same whether you do this or not. But it's just... Uh, a little fancy and I, and I like to do it the outcome looks very nice here we have some kitchen twine um, very cheap we cut it with a pair of scissors this is about 
maybe 13, 14 inches. That all you'll need. So nothing fancy really. Um, whatever knot you want to do, whatever technique you want to do is fine. What I found best to do is cross one leg over the other, whether it's left or right, right at the joints, and then slip your string through the back here. Bring it in through the front and just tie your best knot. Here's an overhand. If I can get it. Retry. A little bit more string here. Oh, it's slipping. Sure, some of you are looking here and know a better knot. If you know a better method or anything, please feel free to put in the in the comments below. Share your methods. This is just something I've learned off TV. I'm no professional. Two more here. All right. Then we cut the excess, nice and pretty. And then the back, the wings get tucked very tightly around the back here. I'll show you that again on this side. So you grab your wing, you uh, put it towards the back, almost like the chicken's putting her, crossing his or her hands behind her back here. And then you just push down. So there the bird is. Is nice and presentable. Stick this in the oven if you'd like. But here we're going to use our crock pot, and uh, that'll be coming up. Here's the slow cooker liners we were talking about in the beginning. So we're going to take one out, fold it all nice and weird, and I've stuffed them in there over the over the uses. Uh, it fits. It fits up to a seven quart, I believe. Yeah, seven quart slow cooker. So if you guys have a an eight quart, this won't work. See if uh, make sure you read it before you buy it. So we found that this works best, sticking it all the way at the bottom, and then the edges. I kind of crimp my fingers together, lift this up, and tuck it under. So it is very high heat resistant. It won't melt on your food. I've done plenty of roasts in here and it has been very effective. So now our bird's going to go in there, but before that, this is one pretty important step. So you don't have to do this. I choose to do it to get a more of a rotisserie effect, um, but you can put your bird in here and it can be completely touching the bottom of the pot. It doesn't matter but it will cook in its juices, so you'll get more of a boiling effect on the bottom of your, of your chicken, and the top will be like a rotisserie style. So to get both sides as close as possible to rotisserie, you grab some aluminum foil. You can use a big carrot, a few big carrots on the bottom. I mean, uh, uh, some potatoes cut up. We choose to use aluminum foil. Go here, nothing fancy. Roll it up. Don't squeeze it too much. You don't want to compress it. You want, you want it to be nice and thick to keep the bird off. And then we roll it into this, this shape here. And we insert that into our crock pot. So this way we'll lay the bird on top and it won't be in contact with the juices on the bottom. The juices will come up and steam, but they won't boil the chicken. So here we have our bird. She's all nice and pretty. Lay them in there just like that. A little big for this crock pot, but it'll do, Stu. Looks like the wings are all nice and tucked. We've got the trussing we did back here, and it's not touching the bottom of the pan like we mentioned before. This I'm gonna plug in, and I'm gonna put for seven and a half hours on low. You can put this for about five hours, four to five hours on high, or seven to eight and a half hours on low. So 
we're going to be going to work tomorrow morning. So this will be in the refrigerator. This, is all, this whole bag is going to go in the refrigerator. Tomorrow when I wake up around 5 a.m., I'll drop this whole bag back in here. I, I, might as, I may as well just put the lid on here and put it in the refrigerator. Uh, I think that's what I'll do. And then tomorrow morning, I just drop this back in its, in its container, put it on low, and put the timer for eight and a half hours. And when I get back from work, it'll be uh, nice and ready to eat. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if there are any other videos you'd like to see. And enjoy.